Well, at the height of the lockdowns, a local filmmaker decided to grab his camera and hit the road. He drove cross country, chronicling what life was like when America came to a sudden stop. Our Kim DiGiulio caught up with him to see what it was like. Over the last two months, we've gotten a glimpse of an empty America. Parks, malls, stadiums, all closed. Well, one man from Rochester Hills decided to pack up his Jeep and capture it all. But the people that we see actually um, succumbing to the virus. This makes it so much more personal for me. In April, Barry Walton, a documentary filmmaker, packed up his car and headed west. It's so much bigger than just a virus. So eye opening. It, it, it's kind of, even now I get chills because I don't necessarily I'm still haven't been able to process it all. He began shooting footage of Chicago, Mount Rushmore and eventually all the way to L.A. So from that point, I just started started to snowball. I was like, I got to see more. Barry describes his travels as eerie, driving through empty cities while listening to local AM radio. And stop the panic and end the total isolation. Vegas was a ghost town. That was kind of scary for me. I was like, I felt like a bomb went off. I wanted to leave. I didn't want to spend a lot of time there. When, when they say these things that they're going to open up and continue as business as usual. Barry knew he'd see emptiness on his 8,000 mile cross country trip, but he learned the emptiness he saw was more than just a virus. Because there's so many layers to this. There's a virus that's happening. There's a political war that's happening. There's people that want to work and people that want to stay at home. Barry is now safe at his home and putting together a story on an empty America. In Rochester Hills, I'm Kim DiGiulio, Local 4. No doubt, so that's an extraordinary thing. Well, we have arrived at that magical time of the day, Kim. Magical, that's yes. one way of putting it.